In performance engine building, there is a key metric, horsepower, which everyone wants to know. It is kind of the starting point for performance of a performance engine. I have here a pretty wicked go-kart engine. It is bolted down to what is called a dynamometer or a dyno for short. This is how we benchmark engine performance. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about how this thing works. I'm gonna show you how we acquire the data and you can actually see what the results are as well. Horsepower is simply force times distance divided by time. You can see the formula here. In this case, we're actually taking that formula, which is very simple, and building it into a machine, acquiring data, and then when we run this engine, we know how well it is performing uh, based on you know all of those different inputs. Here you can see the setup. This is an engine. It's attached to uh, the plate here on the dyno. There is an axle that goes across that's sitting on some very free-floating bearings to make no additional, you'll reduce the drag as much as possible. And then there is this mass. This thing is over 200 pounds. It's a flywheel. Uh, and essentially what the machine is doing is the engine is spinning this up uh, to a high RPM. And as it's doing that, there's a sensor on the flywheel with a, a sensor on the, uh, the other side here. We capture that RPM data of the flywheel and the engine together and we understand how fast is it being accelerated. From that, we can calculate horsepower, torque, and we can get a great idea of how this engine performs throughout the RPM curve, uh, which is very important when you're racing. When testing the engine, we put this clip on the spark plug wire. It gets the RPM of the engine. That wire comes down along with a few other wires into this box and actually transmits the data into the computer where it's captured and then charted. We've got this thing all wired up. We're gonna run it and then I'll show you what the output data looks like as well. After we've successfully completed a dyno run, we get a, a printout that looks something like this from the computer. You can see both our torque and RPM curves here. This axis is the RPM, went up to almost 7,000 RPM, and this is the horsepower. Again, over time, you can see the performance of the engine. There's a couple other uh, you know, tabular data here you can see as well, but the chart is normally what folks are looking for. We can make changes to this engine and run it again and understand if we've made performance improvements uh, and where the sweet spot is in the, uh, the torque and the RPM curve, uh, which is great for you know racing. That's been a quick look at how this dyno operates. If you have questions, comments, other performance tips, leave them in the video comment section below. I want to thank you for watching. Hope to see you back sometime soon.